the prefrontal cortex in humans doesn't finish developing until you're about in your mid-20s. So this means that high school children and college age individuals are still developing when kids are most susceptible to abusing these medications. So anything that's affecting the chemicals involved in that maturation might have long-lasting effects on the brain. Here in the U.S., we're at the peak of a decades-long surge in the prescribing of ADHD drugs like Adderall and Ritalin, leaving the door open for college and high school students to abuse these drugs for studying or recreational purposes. Over the past decade, we've seen a 9 million percent increase in the production of prescription stimulants. And we haven't seen enough of an increase in kids being diagnosed with ADHD to sort of warrant that. Do you think that there's a problem right now with overprescription of these drugs? Um, personally, I do. You know, we rely on medications, not just for ADHD, but many different conditions. We rely on taking a pill first as our first line of approach. Um, there's also definitely a black market demand. It's a really complicated situation. I think the important point is that we really need to be a little bit more cautious when we're prescribing any kind of psychiatrically active medication to young people, because we still don't really fully understand the developing brain and all of its sensitivities. So prescribing drugs like, uh, like Raylin to help treat ADHD, can that have negative effects on developing brains? So not individuals with ADHD, but healthy individuals that might be taking this medication as a cognitive enhancer, kind of a study drug. And what we found was that instead of enhancing activity at a low dose, Ritalin actually calmed down and almost completely shut down the activity of these cells. And it changed certain circuit behaviors in such a way that suggests that there might be impairments in working memory and the ability to shift attention from one focus to another. If you think of an upside down horseshoe, if you overcorrect too far, what you get is a situation where your brain is trying to pay attention to everything all at once. And therefore you can't focus on one thing because you're just distracted by everything seems just as important as everything else to your brain in that moment because it's absolutely flooded with these chemicals. So if that is impaired, that could have long lasting impacts on many different aspects of life.